Fifth round. Special day today, I get to see my hometown team play against my favourite team. I've gone on about it so many times on my website and so many times on this channel. But today, yes, West Ham won 4-0, I threw into the fifth round to play either Man United or Liverpool. But it's been quite a humbling day for me today, watching my hometown team play again for the first time in two years. I haven't had a chance to see Donny play since I went back home for Christmas in 2019. I haven't seen them play on TV since. This was a good occasion for me. I've been looking forward to this game all week. West Ham got the win in a very professional fashion, but Doncaster shouldn't be too disheartened. If any of my mates in Donny are watching this, or any people back home are watching this, don't think that I'm a Judas. Don't think that I'm turning against the Rovers. They've always got a special place in my heart, but this is a West Ham channel. And I have to talk about West Ham. Okay. Okay, let's start with the team lineups as we always do at the start of these videos. Lucas Fabianski stayed in goal for West Ham, but there still were seven changes. Pablo Fornals came in. Andrei Armalenko started up front. Ben Rama and Lanzini paired up together. Mark Noble was in midfield. Um, Balbuena and Ben Johnson started the game as well. There were no Frederick Alves, uh, Mipo Adebayo, or Darren Randolph on the bench. Randolph is injured, and the other two players played for the under-23s the other day. They didn't play in this game, obviously. Um, Dapo Afolayan was on the bench, who was a 23-year-old striker who was part of the academy. I didn't realise he was 23 years old until after the game. I thought he was 18, for the record. But... Uh, who else was on there? There was Jamal Baptiste was on the bench. Nathan Trott was on the bench. Declan Rice was benched. I think Moyes did the right thing by playing a fairly reserve-esque team to prepare the team up for the Crystal Palace game on Tuesday. But that shouldn't discount West Ham's effort in the game. And if Moyes is getting the best out of a reserve team and expecting the same commitment from his B team as his A team, that is a very good sign of a good manager. Unfortunately... I did go on the BBC iPlayer VPN stream, and it was slow. So when I got a goal notification, it was too late. But West Ham scored. Pablo Fornals put it into the net after two minutes. Brilliantly executed shot. 1-0 West Ham very early on in the game. Early start, early goal. Set the tone. Uh, that midfield as well, with Fornals in it, Lanzini and Ben Rama, they played so well in that first half. Lanzini and Ben Rama's link up play, whoo -hoo, beautiful. The way Ben Rama runs around, Lanzini ran around, got into the box, and shot off target. But that link up play between Ben Rama and Lanzini is absolutely sublime. I don't care that it's just Donny Rovers. Right, it's the fact that those two players played that way all that first half and caused so many problems for Doncaster's defence. Doncaster never really had anything good going with the ball in that first half. West Ham's midfield won all the battles. West Ham's midfield is where it all happened. That's where all the balls were coming from. The defence didn't do as much as the midfield, and the midfield gets all the credit. I wanted Ben Rama to score a goal in this game in particular. Perfect chance for him to score. And although he did strike from distance and force Donny's goalie into a save, he did assist. Ben Rama did assist. <laughs> ben Rama puts a through ball into Andrei Armalenko, who clips it into the net. 2 0 Doncaster, now looking a bit far gone. But Yarmolenko gets the ball into the net. It's 2 0 to West Ham. And it's a very good performance that just keeps getting better. The professionalism just showed and showed from West Ham. The way that they got this job done in the first half 2 0 up. No stupidity, no errors so far. Very class performance. Ellery Balkan showed some real talent in the start of the first half. He made three really massive saves. That Donny Lone goalkeeper, he's joined on loan from Brentford, and it's only his second start for Doncaster. He was fantastic in that second half in particular. He was fantastic. 
how he stopped three really lethal shots from going in, all in quick succession. Ben Rama's free kick he denied, denied Lanzini, he denied Suchek's dipping effort. He was really, really good. I've got to give him praise. But he wasn't able to stop a third goal from going in, and it wasn't his fault. It was just unfortunate how this ended up going in. The corners whipped into the box. I think it was Noble that flicks it on with no real conviction, but Donny defender Andy Butler puts it into the net. It comes off his thigh. Own goal, 3-0 West Ham. Youngsters had a chance to shine for West Ham, and uh, Dapo Afalayan came on. He is a striker who's in West Ham's under-23. He's had a few loan spells out at Mansfield and Oldham, and he was making his first ever professional debut for West Ham. He came on, and within eight minutes, he made his impact, scoring on his debut at the London Stadium and showed a real striker instinct to put that ball into the net. Running from the middle into the box, picking out the pass and putting it into what was quite an open goal. Happy for him. And I'm happy that Moyes gave these youngsters a chance. Because Nathan Trott came on for Lucas Fabianski and Jamal Baptiste came on. Baptiste had a 100% passing rate and made one crucial pass in that first time playing. And I'm going to say this, West Ham's academy seems to be getting on the up again, thanks to David Moyes giving these young players a chance. Afalayan has got a future at West Ham, I think. Baptiste definitely does, and Trot definitely does. All three played in that second half and did well. Even though it wasn't for very long, they all played really well. Afalayan has taken the plaudits because he's got his first goal. Everyone's on social media congratulating him right now. It's a good 4-0 win for West Ham. Truly professional. Job done. And I have to say that the academy is looking good again. We have a lot of good players in that academy. Some of whom are out on loan right now, i.e. Zandi Silva. Some who played today, like Baptiste, Trotz and Afalayan. But everything's looking good for this club right now. Five wins to start 2021. And West Ham now have the chance to go fourth, potentially, if we beat Palace. And this game has given me so much confidence for the Palace game. We look so energetic, we look fit, and we look raring to go. Big win for West Ham. We move on to round five. Not sure whether I want Man United or Liverpool yet, though, but we shouldn't fear that game. We're going confident. Thanks very much for watching the aftermath. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. The Palace preview will be recorded on Monday and it will be up by the time the game happens on Tuesday. Take care. I'll see you all soon.